It's the healing properties of Indian spices that we'll be talking about with Manchuri. Thank you so much. So we're talking about the tadka of good health today. Yes. What all should it have? It should have everything that is there in your kitchen. Your kitchen is actually a pharmacy, you know. It has mm. a lot of therapeutic benefit. We've not really tapped that benefit. Mm. There are curcumin supplements all over the market. I wish we could go back and eat a regular haldi instead, mm. you know. So all of it from healthy black pepper, cinnamon, mm. uh, you know, all of it has lot of health benefits. And mm. these are all established. For example, you've heard of the curcumin latte, yes? There is mm. turmeric latte that is all, sold all over Starbucks in, yeah. in, in New York and US, which is not great because there's a lot of sugar added to it. But at home, we were drinking haldi wala dood, you know, when, mm. when we were sick and we had an injury. So, for example, let's let's figure out a few of them. Correct. For example, turmeric has something called curcumin, which is a bioflavonoid, mm. and it is anti-cancer. There are studies that have said that mm. both in preventive and treatment modality of cancer, mm. it cuts down the proliferation of cancer tissues. Mm. So, the tumor is not expanding when you have enough of curcumin in mm. your but food. But is there a particular kind of uh, haldi or, or turmeric that we should be using? Because yeah. there is a kacha haldi and there's the other one, and people are really confused over that. Yes. Yeah, so, Mm. If you look at the therapeutic properties, mm. whether you have a powder, whether mm. you have kacha haldi, whether mm. even you cook haldi, mm. the curcumin really does not denature. Okay. So it's a great thing because so you the can regular use regular turmeric yes. powder which is available in yes, any supermarket yes. should be good. Okay, great. <laughs> Available in a supermarket, we'd make our own haldi. It's good to get those little hard haldi and just okay. get them milled in a, in a mill, you know. You know that you have real organic haldi at All home right. instead of buying a packet of hmm. haldi. Hmm. But yeah, you can eat the kacha haldi. This you can eat it like ginger, add it to your dishes, you know. Hmm. You can just grate it and add it to hmm. whatever you're eating, your hmm. soups, your broths, your curries. Hmm. So that's another way of eating it. It can yeah. also be eaten like, you know, like haldi ka dood or haldi ka pani or haldi in your lentils and beans and vegetables mm. so plenty it's also anti-inflammatory you know so mm. any form of inflammation or injury in the body is eventually the seat of any metabolic disease that you can mm. think of so eating anti-inflammatory foods also puts you at much lesser risk of having metabolic disorders diabetes cardiovascular disease right. going forward mm. in life and other uh, spices that we yeah, can talk cinnamon, about. Cinnamon, for example, mm. you know, it's been worked on. So it's, it's great. It can actually improve insulin sensitivity in the body. So when mm. you're eating dalcini, mm. you can manage your sugars much better because mm. the insulin is working much better in the body. The sensitivity okay. of the cells How for strange insulin. because people think it's sweet, so it should be kept away from those who have diabetes. No, no, not at all. In mm. fact, cinnamon extract, again, is, is prescribed in diabetes. Okay. But it's better to take the bark, the cinnamon, yeah. That bark really, the which is yeah, 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 and yeah. and use them in cooking. Add it to your curries. You mm. don't really need to eat the entire cinnamon. You can mm. make a powder mm. and add it to your cakes or halwa or whatever mm. you're making mm. at cinnamon home. Cinnamon water has great properties. Yes, you can morning. soak cinnamon in the night mm. and have it have that water. So that's great. Mm. Um, hing is amazing. You know, it's great for digestive discomfort. Mm. So people who have flatulence, bloating, any form of uh, regurgitation or reflux, hing really calms you down. Mm. Black pepper, black pepper, you know, mm. it can balance your hormones. So it can sort of balance testosterone levels, insulin levels in the body. Mm. Black pepper is also great for immunity building. So mm. you see, traditionally in Indian homes, Kali Mitch was used mm. when you had a fungal infection or you had a throat infection. Mm. So it builds up immunity in a big way. Mm. It actually kills the common bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella. Mm -hmm. it, is, it has the capacity to kill it. So you mm. can again add back black pepper to your soup, add it to your vegetables, yeah. add it to your cup of tea also. You know, mm. when you're crushing the ginger, crush we, some we're black going back pepper. To the masala also. chai concept, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. But uh, tell me, I've always been confused. If you use these uh, spices in, say, on high heat, with the general tarka formula which you use with ghee or any other oil, does it lose its property? No, not really. So okay. all of them can be seasoned, all of mm. them can be cooked to a high temperature, all mm. of them actually traditionally have to be cooked. It's mm. not a great idea to use them raw, except a few of them. Turmeric you can use raw, you can use few more things like coriander, whole coriander you can use raw, but the rest mm. of them, even methi seeds, mm. if you cook them, they are more available. For example, right. methi has fiber, it has mm. a lot of, you know, sapon insoluble fiber. So mm. when you cook it, the fiber becomes bioavailable to the body. Mm. And that's when it manages your sugars much better. Mm. You know, a fenugreek methi is, is an oral, 
hypoglycemic agent. It's mm. given to my diabetic people, mm. and when they consume it, it manages the sugars like any other anti, high, you know, diabetic mm. drug would do. So uh, another thing, you know, yeah. uh, you know, people when they eat out of their homes, yeah. for example, people who are working and eat lunch outside every mm. day, one mm. is of course they're eating bad food. So that's mm. one. Mm. The people other like me. <laughs> 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 no, it's a good idea to carry your lunch, yeah. you know, it's a yeah. good, so mm. you're also missing out on the rai, jeera, hing, yeah. asafoetida, everything that otherwise was used at home. And mm. if you look at a traditional Indian thali, it'll have yeah. every spice that you can think of, mm. you know. Mm. So, so, it's a so the spicy food, the traditional way in which it's understood is not bad for your health at all. The spicy food is actually the spice of and the little tadka of good health that we all perhaps need. Uh, thank you, Manjuri. That was quite interesting. We're going to try and see how to incorporate that yes. in our and you know, you can catch Manjuri and all our health tips every Tuesday.